good afternoon welcome back to our channel today we are going to discuss you about how a rotating magnetic field is produced in an reverse induction motor and we are changing the rotor to an aluminum tin and we are going to give the ac supply so coming to the winding here we are going to have this is the input ryb is given to the three phase variac and output we are going to connect to the windings R, Y, B. So, if you, you may ask how we have been connected. So, generally if you take an winding, this is nothing but the first winding and this is nothing but the second winding and this is nothing but the third winding. You have A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. So, now I am trying to connect to a delta. How to connect to the delta is join A2 and B1 and try to give R phase supply and join B2 and C1 and try to give Y phase. Okay, third phase. I mean, join A2, C1 and try to give B phase. Okay, so now you see here we have been given R, Y, B and all these phases are phase shifted with 120 degrees. So, as they are phase shifted with 120 degrees. So, now the connections here you are going to have like this. We have A1, B1, C1. Okay, so the top terminals are, the top terminals are a1 b1 c1 and the bottom terminals are b2 a2 c2 so now what you have to do is you have to join a2 b1 so this is nothing but a2 b1 i have been short circuited with an wire so you can see here so we have been short circuited with an wire a2 b1 okay so next one we are having b2 c1 you see this connection b2 c1 we have to short circuited b2 c1 we are short circuited and we are applying a y supply okay and next one C2 A1 we are going to short circuited and we are going to give the B phase. So how many phases? Three phases R, Y, B and all are phase shifted with 120 degrees. So now we have connected R, Y, B the three phase to the three phase induction motor. So you can have uh, three windings. One is R phase, Y phase and blue phase and all these three phases are phase shifted with 120 degrees and we have been changed the rotor. So as soon as you give a three phase supply to an three phase induction motor, a rotating magnetic field is produced. So now we are going to demonstrate it with the help of an, a cylindrical tin coke. Okay. So let's try to see the experimentation part. So now no supply is, uh, so just we are giving and you see here basically I am now reviewing the supply. And once again, I am giving a uh, three phase AC supply. So the voltage available is uh, around 380, which is nothing but a line to line voltage between R and B. And you can see here, so all these phases are connected to the input of an three phase uh, auto transformer. You can see here, slowly we are applying the voltage. Okay, slowly we are applying the voltage and gradually you can see here a rotating magnetic field so as soon as you give the supply a rotating magnetic field is produced you can see the rotor you can see the rotor so slowly what you're doing is i'm giving some voltage as soon as you give the voltage you can see here your rotor starts rotating okay your rotor starts rotating Okay, the rotor starts rotating with a minimum speed. So now you can see here the rotor starts rotating slowly. Okay, so we are giving an three phase supply to the stator, and this three phase supply are split into R phase, Y phase, B phase and all are phase shifted with 120 degrees and you can see here now this is trying to experience a three phase supply how a rotor rotates in the air gap.